Okay, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be about sex. I mean sexing a snake. Excuse me there, everybody. And it's going to be, what do you do when a baby snake won't eat? And you want it to just let nature, you know, do its thing? Or are you going to want to save them all? We kind of go with the save them all thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to, Tim is actually going to help with the, feed, the force feeding. And I'm going to film it. So he's going to force feed a baby reticulated python. And you're going to get an idea of what's the, what we think is the best way to do it. There's obviously more than one way to do it. But we're gonna do it our way. So hey, that's the way you should do it too. Your way. So let's see how let's let's get it going here. Okay, Tim, so what do we got here? Yeah, we got a little little snake that won't eat. Okay. Tried and tried, tried everything I know of. So we're hoping to just force feed her a few times and now we've had snakes that we had to force feed for how long before they started eating? Eight months. Eight months before. Oh. So we don't give up a lot of times. And you know what? The amazing part is. They go on to eat and do everything just the way they're supposed to. So, so start off, obviously, pre-kill your, your food items. The item. food items, dead. We put them in water. Get them nice and wet. That it's way nice it acts, and wet. That's lubricant. And then all you have to do is just kind of pull down the skin of their, their jaw a little bit. And I just use the, the nose of the mouth to, to open their jaw. That way it's soft and delicate. And then put it right back in the back of their throat, just like that. And then so you, you kind of get you it can, started you can away. Set it there. If you want to really make it easy, just you actually put a little water, a little bit of water on a little extra on, water on the rodent itself, and then just put a nice blunt instrument that has no sharp edge right on the back of the rat's head, and just gently push it down. Okay. Now, if you didn't now, see that, just perfect. Now he's going to do another thing that we do. So now I want to get it to where. And you have to do this in small moves. Put your thumb right behind the, the, butt, the butt end of the mouse and push it in, in small increments. So you got to be gentle. It's no big so deal. Just take your time. Very gentle. Just let it down a little ways. And you got to make sure it's wet because it won't do this if it's dry. Right. And, and uh, it just doesn't work that good. Now, Once this is called up. force feeding. This is not assist feeding. Right. Assist feeding is different. So assist feeding, what you do is barely get it started in the mouth. And you'd set it down. Unfortunately, with reticulated pythons, assist feeding isn't as easy. So typically with retics, we find that it's better to force feed them a few times. And what we usually do is we'll feed them two small prey items instead of one because it, it just works better. It's just a lot easier on yeah, the animal. Yeah, it's easier, easier for you to learn how to do too. So there you go. We're going to do the same thing one more time. Now, how long should you wait before you do this to a snake that won't eat, Tim? Probably, I mean, a couple months. About probably, yeah. I would say thirty. I would say thirty days or more, and you probably should start doing yeah. it after shed. Thirty days after the shed, so you're really talking about forty days. And uh, I personally think it's best to force feed them like, what do you do this twice a week or more? Three times a week. Three times a week until you get the body weight up, and then you can go ahead and stop force feeding, and then try again. Now before you do this. We highly recommend trying, you know, rat pups, uh, trying, you know, live rat pups overnight, and trying uh, mice. When you put mice in, you can't put a mice in for more than maybe an hour right. because the mouse can eat the snake. So you see he's working that right down. And then what you do is you set the snake down in the cage, and then you got to just keep a little bit of an eye on it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll set it down here in one minute, and you'll see what we're talking about. And if you get it down a ways, they usually don't even try to even throw it up. So you see, there's no way this snake's going to try to, to do anything with it. So you just carefully push it down far enough where it doesn't try to throw it up. So there. And then what you do is basically, what I do is if it's trying to at all, it's just kind of, yeah, it's just right. kind of, yeah, keep it going. This just kind of keep it moving forward, like touching its tail. If it's, tr and it, it'll usually give up and think more about fleeing than anything else. So. This isn't a snake we produced, but it's just a snake that, that we, you know, wasn't doing good. And we thought we'd try to make it happen. And so, you know, we, we really try to make every snake survive. It doesn't really matter. It's a living animal. And a, a lot of times, most of them will get eating. So this snake here has been force-fed a few times now. And hopefully it'll get going. And it's actually trying. It's been trying to wrap food up. So I so offer, it's starting offer, to, I offer, offer it food before I go ahead and force it. Yeah, food. we don't force. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll throw the food in the container and then come back in an hour and then force feed it the food it didn't want to eat. So it's just an easy way to be, you know, you don't get carried away force feeding. So now, now it's going to be the part you probably waited for. Sex 
eating a snake. So here we go, guys. So we're gonna do. Where is that big? Where is that boy? At first, we're gonna sex a male because a male is real simple and easy to identify what it is. So you like sex and snakes, huh? <laughs> uh oh, I got myself on camera there. Let's turn this around. <laughs> okay. So here's here's what basically there's you can probe a snake. Now a snake like this would probe probably, you know, about you know five to ten scales if it was a male, which is all the way up here. But now on, a, on what we do is we pop them. So you see, now it isn't necessarily real easy to do, but let's let me show you some, <coughs> some tips. So I've been doing this a long time, I've taught a lot of people. So what you want to do is you want to put pressure, but when you put pressure, you start from the back and then push forward. So the idea is that the hemipenes are all the way back in here. Yeah, and you're putting pressure down here too at the vent. So I put pressure here just so that it kind of, I, and I bend it so it has an opening, and then I grab right there and then boop, and out comes the hemipenes. Right. So obviously that's a male. Now the question is, if you don't know how to sex a snake, is everything a female? Could be, but I'm gonna show you the difference. But I'm gonna have to get a snake to do that. I figure real simple. If we're gonna sex a, if we're gonna have sex with sex a snake, then we're gonna make sure it's a pretty snake. <laughs> so here we go. So come on over here, Tim. So here's how so here's what a female look like. So now I'm gonna do the same thing because I don't know what sex it is, right? But you see that little tiny nipple right there, that little nipple thing right there? That right there, that little tiny pokey thing means that it's a girl. Males don't have that. And you can see there's no purple tube going down in. There's just that dead end little little tip right there so that is a female so now now that you've seen it you want to see one more male for good luck let me see here here how about a how about a nice beautiful male Woo, baby this thing's ridiculous tim this is a motley this a motley it's a sunfire it's a golden child it's a mochino and it's head Whoa. purple hey i don't have food stop <laughs> I'm not feeding you. That's all the snake wants to do right yeah. now. Hopefully, I'll want to do more than that later. So, hip, <laughs> hey, I'll get off. Hey, <laughs> so, he so here you go. Ready? Oops, it's not focusing. There we go. Okay, so here we go. You gonna bite you? There you go. There you go. And that's a boy. So the same thing. You're coming from behind. Boop, and he's even got a little bit of sperm plugs, and he's got a big belly full of food. That's probably why he's being a little bit jumpy. But look at, check him out. Is that cool or what? Beautiful snake. So now you guys know all about snake sex and feeding babies that won't eat. So hopefully you guys can make it all happen. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop JT at uh, buy a reptile a message and he'll help you out. And uh, Tim, Tim will help him out too, but that's the best way to get a hold of us on either Instagram or Facebook at buy a reptile. Or, of course, you can email us and go to our website at prehistoricpets.com. But if you have any questions, just feel free to shoot them out. Hope you guys figured it out. Tried to make it a little bit different. Obviously, we're not talking about snake sex, even though it was a male and a female. Yeah, but we are talking about babies that won't eat, and that's how you do it. So if you guys have any questions, take care. Hope you have a great day, and see you soon.